So guys, we're at the MSI booth today and what we have here is the MSI MEG321 URX QD OLED. This is MSI's latest OLED monitor. It's going to be roughly priced at about 1700 USD. Okay. It comes with the in thing for this year, which is called AI. I don't know how it works. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to call a MSI rep and ask you to actually guide us on how it goes about. Let's go. So this is our latest MEG series monitor. MEG321 URS QD OLED monitor. It has two main features. First one is the AI sky side. So we can train the AI to detect certain in-game information. And it has its AI hardware chip inside the monitor. So uh, when, we, uh, when the AI is running, it won't affect the PC efficiency. Another key feature is the spectrum bar. As you can see, there is a light underneath the monitor. So this spectrum bar will synchronize with the AI chip. And let's, let me show you how it works. When I open the OSD, uh, in the AI sky side, there is a list I can choose from. Like I can ask AI to detect like health, sharpness, or ammo. Right now, I'll just choose ammo indicator to showcase how it works. So let's go back to the game. As you can see, uh, AI will detect a certain area of the monitor. So there is a number of ammo. And please notice here and also the light. When I'm firing, the ammo will reduce. In the meantime, the bar length will also reduce, like this. When the ammo is under 30%, the light starts flashing. So let's reload it. So when I reload it, the lens will get full again. So that's how it works. Like we know uh, when players are playing the games, they have so many things need to do. With this spectrum bar and the AI chip, they can use their preview of vision to know, okay, my ammo is about to run out, or my health is low, I need to heal up. So that's it, the main features of this MEG series monitor. Does the AI feature work on all games? Uh, uh, technically, yes. Uh, but right now, we only got the permission from Capcom to demonstrate this monitor with Monster Hunter. You've seen how the monitor is and how AI works on this monitor. I guess with everybody, every company going crazy about AI, MSI has already jumped on the bandwagon and went out with an AI monitor. So let me know what you all think about the monitor in the comment sections below. Moving on with the AI craze, okay? I'm gonna show you all something that I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna work. There's not much information on it, okay? But this is MSI's very own AI PSU. It's called the MEG AI 1600T PCIe 5. I don't know how AI is going to work with this, but let's just wait and let them release the product and let's see how it goes. So far, what we know about the PSU is that it has dual native 16 PCIe connectors. This is basically a 12 VH power cable. Okay. It is also compatible with MSI Center. So that means you can actually Plug in the USB-C found on the monitor, uh, sorry, on the power supply into your motherboard, and it works with your MSI center. Lastly, we know that it is also an 80 plus titanium power supply. So the next product we have from MSI that has caught my attention is this new AIO. This is the MSI Core Liquid P series. What we have here is a 360 millimeter variant. Okay, there might be a 240 and a 120 or even a 420 coming out soon. We don't know. MSI has not confirmed about that. But what's interesting is this display at the front. It's a 4.3 inch IPS panel. Okay, you can allow it. You can actually tilt it to a certain angle. I think that's about 45 degrees. So if you're actually placing it in your facing by your side, you can adjust the panel for you to actually look at it directly. Another nifty feature about this whole thing, this whole AIO is that MSI has made the assembly easy. It uses a universal bracket 
Okay, a universal bracket that covers both Intel and AMD platforms and sockets. And cable management is a bliss in this. MSI is simplified cable management by using a single 360 fan on this, a single cable to connect both your pump and also your radiator for PWM functions. Your ARGB functions, I believe, is controlled by another cable down here, which MSI has included. It's a USB-C to a proprietary port. As of now, we do not know the exact retail value of this or the probable pricing. Let's hope we get more information coming out soon. Thank you. Okay guys, now let's move on to the star of the show, the MSI Z790 Project Zero. Smaller boy, is Z790 Project Zero Plus. Uh, it's the back neck model. All the pin and connector are on the back. Uh, and the unique part is it's a CAM2 version. The CAM2 is the uh, memory weight is flat, flat design. The flat design is normal on the notebook, but it's not. Uh, it's unique on the motherboard. Uh, this design, which uh, can make more more high frequency, which is about up to 8,000. 8, the normal DDR5 is about uh, 6,000, and the flat design we can design the uh, heat sink to improve the heat dissipation, so we can get the more more. Uh, the lower temperature on the motherboard. Okay, and it has the screwless heat sink design too. It's, it's, it's not it's not normal in the in the recently motherboard market, but I think it will be popular in the future.